Tonight, we're going to just head straight off. So, we're going to get the tram, then a boat, and we'll see you in there. Hey guys, in so, we are now at Epcot. Um, nice little boat right there, around a couple of resorts just got in through the international gateway so we've got a fast pass for Sorin which was at 9 40 it's about 10 20 or so now so we're gonna head over the fast pass do Sorin um, and just see where we'll go from there I think we've got another fast pass for mission space I think it is isn't it and what else can't remember we've got another one for something else anyway but we'll have a look as we'll go and see uh, see what that is as well so let's head over to uh, head over to Sorin we we've reached the land We've still got 15 minutes to spare until our fast pass ends. But I wouldn't need to do Nemo here today. Mm. Even though it's a bit of a kiddie one, we should do Turtle Talk with Crush. Yes, what? Really? Turtle Talk with Crush? Okay. <laughs> Chris is like, what? There's a garden grill over there. Oh, Mickey's out meeting. With his country hick outfit on. We still haven't met Mickey yet. Down the escalators. Oh, yeah, yeah. Chris has decided he likes magic bands, or as he calls them, witchcraft bands. It's dark magic, isn't it? Dark magic. Dark magic. Bye, Mickey. Nothing good can come of using it. That's what I like. <laughs> Right, heading down the Soren queue now. Hopefully we'll get on. Apparently it's a 40 minute wait on standby. There's the end of the queue there. So we'll go all the way down there. Where are the pyramids of Giza, do you know? Big Giza? <laughs> In Egypt. <laughs> yeah, Egypt. So the next fast pass is for Spaceship Earth, about 11.35, so we've decided we are going to go on the seas with Nemo and friends because that's only a 25 minute wait, should take one nicely up to when that is, then we'll head over to Spaceship Earth which is only just there. Come on, see it. See it. Damn birds. warm and I have chafing. <laughs> I 
Oh, you see. Huh? 30 yeah, 30 mile off yesterday. Had to pop a blister on me little toe this morning, it wasn't pleasant. Stripes and looks down like you only smoke. Yes, and see him. See him. Demo! Why didn't you drop by for a little bite? Oh, what a beautiful little bite. Oh, kill him out or did. Very, very warm. We might head to Club Cool just for a couple of little cups before we head off the Spaceship Earth for our fast pass. Here we are, we are just about at the entrance now. <laughs> Not long till we'll get on. We're starting today's food and wine festival with the marinated chicken with peanut sauce and stir fried veg. Right, let's try some of this. We've got the peanuts on top of that, let's try a bit of the sauce with a bit of chicken. Taste the peanuts on that straight away. Really nice. Really nice. It's pretty nice though. What, what you got? You got the beef. What was it? Some of the beef. It is the red hot spicy Thai beef curry. Did a few fork folds, but can't see where I'm filming because I'm bright. Mm. So first stop. Thailand Pavilion, quite nice. Recommend it if you like a bit spice. But mm, uh, that chicken's really nice. So we've come into the Grand Fiesta tour to get some air con. Only a few rows of queue really in there. Shouldn't be too long. Oh, yeah. I don't 
It's over. A little stop in, what was it? Norway, wasn't it? Norway, yeah. Norway, but mostly just frozen stuff. It's really hot. Chris says there's no chance of rain now according to the weather, which is all good. Looks quite busy up there. We're waiting to come to another food and wine booth because we haven't come to another one yet. What's this one? Oh, here's China. <laughs> Bless me. Going to go duck. Let's do the duck. So next we have the Beijing roasted duck with hoisin sauce. What'd you make of it? Fair bit fat, like. You're poking about a bit. <laughs> Not impressed. Alright, there's a big chunky bit of fat in yours, isn't it? We're gonna go have a look in China. I'll let you know what I think of the duck in a minute. Thank Can't eat and fill them at the same time. So yeah, the duck that we had there with the hoisin sauce was just average. It was just duck with hoisin sauce, same as you would get anywhere, so nothing really special about that one. But all the same was still okay. So we're just coming in for a wander around in here in China. Have a little look. Got some swords out of the back if you want to put one in your case. Yeah. I've seen <coughs> Sir, can you uh, tell us why you have this sword in your bag? Yes. So we've had a little bit of a break from the eating. And we've had a look in China and watched the Circle Vision 360 movie about China. And now we're back off around some countries. Ooh, I see a food booth up here, India. Fancy an Indian? Oh, was that the one where it had no meat in? What was it, the hard? I definitely want that Irish sausage or the cheese soup. I don't know which though. Ooh. And then go back and get the, and then finish off with another one of them uh, berry things. The one was alright. Was it? Alright. Let's go. Oh, huh. well, let's have a look at that then. So Chris has the beef tenderloin tips with pap from Africa, and he likes them, but he says they are very spicy. It's like an after spice. <laughs> Is it like the aftertaste? There's jalapeno on that in it though, isn't there? Aye. So we've had a quick rain shower. We ducked inside somewhere for a minute, can't remember where it was. Germany. But it was absolutely heaving. So it's kind of spitting on a little bit, but it's not too bad. We'll eventually hit the US pavilion. There was a little booth along there, wasn't there? A little food booth. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of the turkey legs last time I was here. Do you want to go and see what time the show on? If this is on, good old American adventure. Five minutes. Oh well, that's alright then. Look at the ducks just chilling. Just out of Japan. Are you using that as a common influence to tell you how a tab? No. <laughs> Pretty fishies. Look at them all under the bridge. Um, we've had a couple of rain showers. I did have to admit I did have the carrot cake from uh, the American uh, food bit, and I forgot to fill it. And 
it was all well nice I just bought this in Japan it looks like a blueberry flavor drink thing it's got some sort of weird opening instructions so I'm gonna have a go it might go wrong I don't know so peel off the seal and lift off the green cap right. peel off the seal lift off the green what the hell is that Lift off the green cap, push down the centre to release the opener. Centre of the top of the bottle? That? No, no, that. Yeah. Push down the centre to release the opener. Place the opener onto the top of the bottle. Press down firmly with your palm. This will open the bottle by dislodging the stopper. Keep pressing for five seconds. Remove the green opener from the bottle and discard. So basically, you put that in there like that. Push down. Hard. Whatever that little stopper thing is into it then. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's the weirdest opening bottle I've ever seen. Right, here we go. Got this blueberry Japanese drink thing. Quite nice. Mm. It does actually taste like blueberry as well. It's just like a carbon carbonated blueberry thing. See now all the stoppers held in the top. Right from the smoking area or an illegal smoking area. Chris has found a smoking area. Five and a half hours. You have, you've done quite well. I'm surprised you're not irritated by now. I'll roll it and you're just holding it in. <laughs> now having a look around in Morocco to see what we have. It smells like incense. See, it smells like incense, doesn't it? No. Oh, what are these waiting for? Meet and greet. Reminds us of like Indiana Jones. <laughs> Got the drums up. So it's feeling a bit busy. We are, that's in France, we haven't been in because we were in the other night looking at the uh, pastries and uh, everything when I was on the phone to Ange. Oh, heading over the bridge towards the International Gateway, I think the next stop is going to be Ireland. That sounds like the music in Britain, doesn't it? Ooh, let's go and see what's on in there. Dance! <laughs> what he said. 
So we are back down at the Imagination Pavilion. We're gonna pop in, see the Pixar shorts again. Because they were quite funny. Sit and chill for five. And then I think what? Back up the International Gateway and off out. Right. Back over to Hollywood Studios. See Fantasmic. So we're out of Pixar shorts. And again, it was the same ones we've seen last time, but they were still funny, weren't they? Right. So the plan now is we are heading out of the park, boat right back to Hollywood Studios, and then Fantasmic tonight to finish off the night since we haven't seen that yet. One hour later. So after a quick ride on the boat, we've jumped from Epcot to Hollywood Studios. We've also managed to nab some fast passes for Fantasmic, which we didn't expect to get. So that's good. So hopefully we should get some decent seating in there now as well. Let's have a look in the shops. Pass some time. Sun's starting to come down on another day. And we're just kind of wandering around Hollywood Studios a little bit. Just wasting a little bit of time, so we've got to go for a fast pass to Fantasmic. We haven't got time to really sort of do anything much, so I'll we'll have a look in Launch Bay. Chris really wants a BB-8. <laughs> was that your best impression of BB-8 there? That was an impression of some boys. <laughs> BB, not, BB, BB, BB. Not the one I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> So here we are, along with half of the park, making our way towards Fantasmic. So we should be there in good time. We've got fast passes anyway, so we should get the priority seating. So let's go see the show.
Fantasmic, awesome as always. But as always, you are stuck in a crowd of about 4,000 people coming out. Chris enjoyed it, didn't you? Definitely. He's all Disney fired up now, is Chris? He loves it, aren't you? <laughs> so, good night, Hollywood Studios. We are off for the tram. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Or I think we've got Animal Kingdom, so we'll uh, we'll see you guys then. Good night from Hollywood Studios.